and welcome back to Runner's Fortune, the Pillars <coughs> of Cypetia, <coughs> where we yeah. last left our group. You all uh, had left the city of Cypet and arrived at the docks, uh, spent the night there. Um, you, uh, through some negotiations, <coughs> um, <laughs> negotiations, <laughs> sent a couple of guards to the office, ahem. And, uh... <laughs> Mr. Sausage Pants. Need I say more? One of many. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... I think that's where your goal is to see how many people can grow a sausage in their pants. <laughs> I like it. That's a side quest. You all, uh, spoke to a couple of ship captains before deciding on a <clears throat> uh, slightly ricketier-looking ship. Uh, that said that it travels by night, um, and you guys decided it might be a ghost ship and looked interesting. Um, called the Storm. You all spent the day, and then you got on the ship as dusk fell, and the ship left port at a pretty good speed, and. Uh, you then, just about an hour or so into the night, you heard a little splash off the front side, and you uh, went to take a look as you saw the nameplate, the storm, floating away. It was replaced by a new name, and a voice from behind you, up at the, uh, the helm, laughed and said, Welcome to the Raya! You guys turned around, and you saw a tiefling lady standing up there at the helm. What are you going to do? I think we done fucked up. Like usual? I think this is a perfect idea. <laughs> Hi! How are you? <laughs> I'm well. It's a fine evening. That it is. Good night for sailing. Always. Assuming there's not a storm. Oh, we were the storm. I mean... So, did you bring the change in the weather? Of course not. Now, is that check? Inside check? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Us being on the same page. <laughs> Fourteen. <clears throat> The natural one. I did. <laughs> yeah, did I'm you seduce yourself? <laughs> oh, I forgot I had this. <laughs> um, so I can help myself. This is the most honest tiefling you have ever, <laughs> ever met. Yep. Um, I trust her completely. You have no reason to disbelieve her. Okay. Now, it is late for you land lovers. I'm sure you'll adjust, but... To their quarters, please, as a uh, three ghosts float on over to you. They don't walk? They don't. Do they have legs? These ones don't. They do. They do. Do their legs move when they float? Uh, one of them does. Two of them are just hovering, and one of them is kind of walking through the air. I can do that, too. You can do that. <laughs> Probably figure out which one is the newer of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> it's not lazy yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of he probably just died, so he's still getting into the use of his sea legs. <laughs> sea legs, yes. And you are guided uh, <coughs> through the door and down a couple of decks. The first deck you go through, you do see a uh, well armed um, deck. There's a. Uh, looks like there's. Uh, a solid row of ten arbalists on each side, and uh, four full ballistas on each side, uh, just below deck level. How many non-dead compat or <coughs> passengers are there besides us? You haven't seen any others yet, okay. um, but you are going to the um, the quarters right now, so you may okay. see some more in just a moment. All right. Um, okay. 
but you know there was a tiefling. She's not dead. Um, you do see it looks like there might be a drow or two over there walking around, but it's it's dark. You two are having a real tough yep. time at the moment. Uh, your vision is, and actually, I believe your vision is normal as well. I don't know if I have dark vision on this character. I don't think so. Should be under senses. I believe Dave, I have normal vision. <clears throat> and your vision is? Low light and dark. Low light and dark? Mm hmm. Yeah, it was you one, one of the... or the other. What? You have one or the other. Oh, I, I think it was. I think I took dark as one of my. The okay, character, you, you the took a feat for dark vision. Yeah, cool. Get rid of the low light. Dark vision is better than. The low okay, light. cool. Your senses are blank. Blank. So. Perfect. He can't see. Oh, that's that's not. Fix that. Dave, the senses are normal. Cool. So you have standard vision. He's so the only one that can see in the dark. Three with standard vision. <laughs> I'm sure the tree can't see in the dark either. Uh, the what tree is, can see in the dark. What is Oz's vision? Can he? Oh, I'm sure. He's or is he? Dark. Is he actually on the ship, or is he just flying overhead? No, he's with you. Okay. He seems like one of those people. Like I got wings. I don't, I don't need a <laughs> I don't trust this. Have fun, guys. Yeah. No, he, he's he's, he's with you. Mode. <laughs> Glide. <laughs> just every few, like an hour or two, you just splash. Oh, oh I gotta go back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cold water. Like... Waking up. <laughs> Be very exhausted. Uh, he does have dark vision. <clears throat> I thought so. It's part of being a tiefling, I think. Right. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Half tiefling? Yep. Yeah, he's half tiefling, half Valkyrie. Mm. Not he's mostly Asian. tiefling, he just ended up with wings. <laughs> yep. It's a good combo. He's 90% tiefling, 10% Valkyrie. he got Valkyrie. angel wings, though. <clears throat> did he dye them red, or did they come in that color? Came like that. <laughs> so, is he actually, is he a red tiefling? Or is he, what color is as... He... He doesn't have the pink tiefling skin. Oh, okay. He has fairer skin. Okay. Um, Does he have feathers or skin? So he has skin, and then he's got feathered wings. Okay. I always imagine him as an arcoker with devil horns. <laughs> ah, no, he he is um, he he looks like an angel with devil horns, um, and some other slightly demonic features, but. Gotcha. Because he's named <laughs> Did his mommy have incest with a demon? No. How would that be incest? Not incest. Just relations with the demon. No, daddy was descended of a demon. Oh. And mommy was descended of an angel. Oh. You know there's a word for that, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. So it's called a Nephilim, right? Mm-hmm. A what? A Nephilim. Nephilim. Oh. Nephilim. Nephilim or human angels. It depends on exactly which mythology you take a look at. You can't be half demon, half angel. Holy hell, Spawn. <laughs> yep. That is exactly what he is. Um, but also, Hell Spawn are holy, just negatively holy. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> negative holy 11. It's not satanic, it's just negatively holy. <laughs> that, we should definitely change it to holy and negative holy. <laughs> Could do that. Put it on Could a mathematical scale. <laughs> so are we still next to the ballistics? It's yeah, I mean, old. you're you're heading down okay. to the next level. So you all uh, continue down to the next level. The next level is slightly more lit. Um, and you do see it's scattered with hammocks. There's a couple of actual bunks. Um, this will be your room. <clears throat> Pick whichever you want. You're only passengers to stay on so far. So far. So far. Is there a possibility more might stay on? Well, of course. You never know what ship we're going to sink. <laughs> Is there a place we can Sleep get... tight. Mm-hmm. Who is speaking to us? Uh, one ghost. of the ghosts. Yeah. Which one? Jim. Uh, the one that is walking. Walking in the air. <laughs> the other two are floating in the midnight sky. I dub him Jim. <laughs> Make you feel better? Yes. Good. If I'd stay silent, would you just have stared at me until I did it? Yes. Which one of you is thaumaturgy? 
Uh, <laughs> not not thaumaturgy. Press the digitation. I have thaumaturgy. This cool. side of this Make thing. us light, please. Make you light? You can light torches with. Oh. And, and there are there are some lanterns on this level. This one is as much. This is better lit, so you Do can actually see. Really want to see how nasty these costumes yes. and hammocks are. Okay, so <laughs> you don't have to do it. Okay, I'll go do for it. it. So. Do you have a light, good sir? No, but I can make one. Perfect. <laughs> I can make one too. <laughs> <laughs> that you can. <laughs> yeah, we can't be upset about it yet. Uh uh-uh, uh, hasn't <laughs> happened yet. <laughs> Brother, you want to lighten up the place just a smidge? Maybe not. Can you light one finger with daylight? I don't know, Jim, can I? No. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you are. You are on or off. <laughs> All right. All right. Hang on a second. Let me see what I have. Actually, can I just Press cast the just a little fireball okay, in my hand so, light up a little bit? <laughs> but it can light a fire, but you it can't can light. creep. I don't think you can like hold a fireball in your hand. No, but you can like, like light a torch or a candle, which most adventuring packs should have. I have a dumb decision. You all are about to. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. Right. I have a lantern. Because <laughs> one, one thing I also changed um, is the guild really stuff, right? recently, um, since last session even, is that um, I took the basic necessities adventuring gear and I turned it into an adventurer's <clears> pack <throat> that is gifted to all adventurers when they select a guild, which everyone should select the guild at level one. All of... So you all will be gifted with an adventuring pack. Oh, okay. I'll wait till we. Is there a ran? Is there just a piece of wood on the ground and a piece of cloth? <laughs> You're gonna light the whole ship up. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. So is there a? Okay, let me rephrase that. I would like to do a perception check to see if I can find just a. I mean, there are lanterns could... scattered. Oh, so throughout. but they're empty, or like there's no light coming from them, or are they? They're, they're about half of them are lit right okay. now, so that it's not bright in here, so that people could sleep. Are there it's... other people in here? No, it's empty. Okay. Can I brighten them then? Well, I was... Press digitation. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. I can press the digitation then, so we can make it actually so we can see. So... I have thaumaturgy and I just can't light things with thaumaturgy. I can yeah. just make things brighter. So. Okay, so I can light a few of them to make it brighter so yeah, you can actually you could, see. you could <coughs> brighten, brighten it up as well. Yeah, so it's now... However, it's now well lit. Um, it's not quite... It's like a dawn brightness at the moment. So definitely easy enough that it's very comfortable to oh, see. Gee. Might be slightly uncomfortable okay. to try to sleep in. Okay. I mean, we can always just distinguish those, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Easily. Okay, so... I just would like to be able to inspect the places where yeah. we're going to sleep. Uh, I'd like to inspect where we're sleeping. Yeah. How big is the bottom, or where we are? Is it kind of... To have a conversation, I guess I don't really need to shout at you like I was doing at the longhouse. <laughs> yeah. I mean... The the ship down here is um, about 70 feet long, um, 25-ish feet wide. Um, we'll say that it's it's about as wide as this room here and about as long as two or so. This is a well-sized ship. It is not a full full rig sailing yeah. but it is it is a four master it okay. is, this is um, and this level goes pretty much the whole size of the ship okay. cool, cool cool what are you going to roll hmm? checking out the room yeah so I mean as you're just uh, taking a look at the room um, you know you, you start off by seeing um, it looks to be about uh, sleep for about 40 people total um <laughs> It looks like there's a small chest um, for each um, sleep spot. Um, if you're looking for more information, then you can do either a perception or investigation check. Either of them are tens. Okay. I will do investigation. Though. Okay. What what more information are you looking for? Anything um, in particular or just... Holes in walls. Um... Anything that might be out of place compared sure. to some of the like if like any of the chests are shif- shifted compared to the beds that they're next to or okay. um, anything. The chests appear to be uh, bolted to the floor. Okay. Um, 
And so they all look to still be bolted to the floor. Um, <coughs> upon a little investigation here, you're not seeing anything that looks out of place. Um, there definitely is some cracks in the walls. Um, there is some water leaking through. I mean, it looks like this ship got hit by a massive storm, as most of the ships did. Um, and frankly, based on how it looked on the outside, you are minorly surprised it's sailing, but at the same time, um, it's also riding very, very high in comparison to other ships that you know, um, almost hovering. But uh, The water that's coming in, does it look like they patched any holes? It, it does look like there's been some patching um, done. It looks like they're maybe halfway through. Some of the patches definitely are shoddy. Some of them are better than others. Um, it looks like they're partially through repairs. Um, okay. Are there any hammocks? Yeah, yeah. There's some hammocks. Most of them are hammocks. There's about there's four or five um, double bunks, but everything else is a is a hammock. It's much easier to yeah suspend in the ship than That's mount fair, it. Right. So I'm gonna go find a hammock and just. I'm sure out. you get less seasick in a hammock too. Yeah, because you'll sway with the boat more. Yeah. Stay I'm gonna level, go. Essentially, yeah, I'm just gonna go find a hammock and lay down. Okay. I'm gonna go find a hammock. I'm gonna put my capybara in my lap, and then I'm gonna swing into the hammock and lay down. Don't suffocate you. Is it the capybara? Way more than you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, a dog, small dog. Yeah, it's a, it's like a small to medium sized dog. <laughs> okay. So one of your dogs lying yeah, on you. <laughs> that makes sense. Now. I'm keep thinking that they're. Like the size of a Labrador. They're the size of like my dogs. Yeah. Yeah, a little larger than Snickers and Kona. Cool. Meh. So with the whole change, this is with the whole change <laughs> thing. Do I need to tell you what race I am, or? I mean, yes. Okay. <laughs> because otherwise, we assume people you're might yeah treat you differently based on what race you are. Yep. Okay. Are you sure you aren't changed into a flying purple people eater today? <laughs> no, right now I just realized I'm an orange person. I ate way too many carrots. And his eyesight's phenomenal, but he turned to skin orange. <laughs> exactly. My eyesight is phenomenal. I can see perfectly in normal light. Yeah. <laughs> I can see perfectly in pitch darkness. Never mind. All right. So a couple of you have climbed into your hammocks. Mm. Um, also, going to do the same. What about the other two of you? I'm going to do the... The, the, the ghosts do head back up the stairs. Um, the one that's walking uh, rotates himself upwards and just walks straight upwards. <laughs> Through the floor? Yep. Well, that's something I does haven't he, seen yet. Does he do like a whole like that thing, or does he just straight up just rotate? <laughs> he straight up just <laughs> rotates <laughs> and then walks <laughs> straight upwards. No, I've, seen, a lot of character. Oh, I've seen some weird <laughs> shit. Well, that's but something that's you don't see any of the things I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a new one for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a bunk and do the classic spin around on my heel and just kind of please crash into the into the bunk. Do a dexterity check. <laughs> I'll allow it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> just kidding. Hair tie out of my hair and night. No, that's <laughs> not the percent. I grab what did Ethan do? I have yet to decide. You have yet to decide. No, I'm probably going to... Uh, <coughs> How close are you to me? Uh, I was probably in the bunk next to you. Meditate and pray. Okay. And then go to something like that. Okay. Sounds good. On anything in particular, or just general meditation and prayer? Um, a sign. Okay. Go ahead and make a religion check. Can I have a conversation? What is it that you're looking for? With him. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> twenty, thirty, twenty. <laughs> okay. Um, what kind of sign are you looking for? What What are you? Why are you looking for a sign? Um. Have I made the correct decisions? Okay. In recent days. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This video is going to have a lot of cat meowing in the background. I don't mind. I don't want to sit down. 
you uh, <coughs> as you open your eyes, um, there there was some minor puddling um, on the on the wood as the water was leaking in a little bit. It, nothing crazy, but minor. Um, and the uh, the water has cleared away from you. That's it. That's it. Okay. I will let you interpret that symbol as uh, however eat on night. But that is what happens. That's it. I'll contemplate that as we fall asleep. Okay. In a hammock. <laughs> Good call. It's on the floor. <laughs> just didn't fall asleep like this. <laughs> just. I feel like you sit like with your legs crossed <laughs> and you just slowly clamp so close. <laughs> the side. We're having a uh, conversation. Yeah. <coughs> Sand, are you awake? Yeah. Why? Because you don't look like you're awake. I mean, I'm. My eyes are closed, but I'm not asleep yet. Why? What's on your mind? Just wanted to check in with you, see how you're doing. I mean, I'm doing, doing great since I left home. How are you doing? Well, you know, I mean, I've been on the road a lot longer than you have. And, and one thing that mother asked is just to check in with you every now and then because you have lived a very secluded life. Yes, you did take a two-year pool pilgrimage, but I mean I left home pretty fast after we lost our sister. I remember you were quiet and for a long time. I struggled with that decision. But it, I just needed to find myself. But I do apologize for leaving you because you shouldn't have had to go through that alone. Well, thank you, but I I totally understand why why you had to leave. Each one of us bore the pain a different way. Mine was work. It's fair, but that's fair. You see that uh, you taking a liking to big tall blue guy. He's cool. Definitely one of the more interesting characters I've seen. <laughs> Can you hear them talking about you? I'm probably praying at this point, so I'm probably a little too focused. <laughs> is Az asleep right now? Of course, he's kind of still awake. You, you all are still kind of awake. Okay. No one has immediately crushed. Okay, then I will hold off on asking that question. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ask that question and you hear a couple chuckles in the room. <laughs> Was, no, it was the next question I was going to ask. But uh. if he's awake, I don't really want to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake? Oh. Him. As is awake. Yeah. The tree just chilling uh, in the room. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we just put him in a corner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hawthorne just put himself in a corner. Yeah, tree. <laughs> the tree decided to be a tree again. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I want to talk to you about what you found in in the library because I wasn't with you. We don't have to do it now. I know we got a yeah, once, uh, long voyage ahead of us, but we just need to sit down because I honestly didn't find anything of interest except for maybe a few answers, but you did go into the, and I'm going to do air quotes, restriction section if I remember correctly. And so, yeah, just, once dawn breaks, I'll We'll uh, we'll go topside and I'll I'll show you what I have. I I'm gonna take around my backpack. I should still have some of the do some of the books I hastily threw in there on the way out. Cool. <laughs> well, um, I would recommend that when we actually reach a port that we you send finish your meditation about now. We send word to father and mother and just let them know that. We're all right. Agreed. We'll find a. And at that, I'll just courier service. Roll over. 
ghostly. All right. Uh, I'd like for everybody to make a straight constitution check. Um, if you are in a hammock, uh, you can make it an advantage. So everybody, except for Xander. <laughs> so this is constitution... Uh, plus half. Plus half mod? Yep. Anyone who's in a hammock? Yep. Yeah, so not you. He said he was getting in a hammock. Oh, so you changed your mind? I said hammock. No. I, just, I spun around and fell into the hammock. Yeah, said. he said... He never said bed. I heard I heard okay. as well, uh, cool. and that's what I wrote down, because oh. that's what I heard. I just heard if him you want, turn around and It might have been hammock, not bunk, but... I thought I heard bunk, but cool. Then everybody can roll an advantage then. Okay. Wait, is is that just is that the ability mod the the plus one to that or the the one to the right? The half level. Can I use uh? Gotcha. My one remaining luck. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So do I get to roll both at advantage again? Yes. Okay. I rolled twos. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to vomit all over the floor. How many times are you rolling? That was the second time. Oh, okay. <laughs> that weird one was me. Too, was the weight of the dice falling off? <laughs> one of them was a one. <laughs> The other one is a 16. <laughs> Eight. That's much better. <laughs> yes, very much. A uh, 17. 19. 8. 13. Okay. Um, you have a little bit of a rough night. Um, you, uh, you wake up in the morning slightly groggy. Um, but you... Uh, are going to take um, three points of stamina. Okay. Oh, poor Xander. Not, oh. not, not rough enough that you actually that you didn't get sleep, but enough that you didn't quite get as much rest as you gotcha. could have. Ooh, the, You're not used to being on oh. ships. You usually and, got off them when the day ended. <laughs> and, and the seas are still rough from the major storm. Gotcha. As you all are coming to and starting to look around, you uh, you see the tiefling um, standing at the stairs, leaning against <coughs> bulwark, arms crossed. Landlubber's awake now. Good. Yeah. Everybody, topside, off the boat. I'm dropping you off on this island. We're going to get some repairs done. We should uh, be on our way day two at the most. That uh, storm hit us a little harder than we wanted it to. We're riding a little lower in the water than we'd like. Um, But uh, if we get these repairs done now, we'll get you uh, where you're going even faster than we uh, originally promised. So. This is the one shot? We're about to. Okay. So. So you all, Do you mind uh, if I just stay on the boat? Th- that's fine if you want to stay on the boat instead of heading to the beach. Well, yeah. I would have thought my character didn't go on the one shot with them. So. We went more oh, than okay. the beach. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'll hear about it in a minute. So you all uh, um, get up, you go topside, and you're um, taken in a rowboat to the uh, the beach. Um she said that was sitting low in the water. That's pretty high up for. And uh, as as you're looking, um, you can see the keel of the ship start above the water line. And um, for those of you that know ships, know that the keel is always underwater. That's part of what makes it a keel. Um, so this ship is riding higher than any ship you've seen, except a ship in dry dock. It's a. Boat. At which point, <laughs> is in dry dock. There's no water under it. <laughs> it's, a no- ma- it's a magic boat. There's no doubt about it anymore. <laughs> I had doubts, but <laughs> yeah. Repairs? Repairs. I mean, it could still have holes in it. No, it no, most probably likely. got hit with some hail. So, a little but, brief but the- overview <laughs> on boats. They're not supposed to be that high but out of the, the water. the keel's out of the water. <laughs> the part where we sleep in is typically majority underwater. Sure, but even if you have... You could still have issues with holes. Holes or no, maybe their I, magic I, I, device. I, I, I understand or that, but the whole repairs was more along the lines of I don't know what repairs she's talking about because the boat is sitting well above the water. Gotta fix the magic device, maybe. I don't know. What did I Who knows? what did I assist Etan with picking for his ship? 
We'll talk about that later. Yeah, you can <laughs> berate me later. Fun. You can berate me later. We completely blame you, Xander. <laughs> you went with them, you know how boats work, and yet you still picked the boat that it's looked close you know, just... Apparently he wasn't actually paying attention. <laughs> right, was. It just fair. was... He looked at more schematics. Hey, the keel else. was all in the water when you were looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I was like to point that out. And when it was sitting at port, the keel was underwater. Mirage. It's a mirage. <laughs> so you guys take the uh, the first day and you do a little bit of island exploring. Um, the island appears to be uninhabited. Um, it uh, seems to be a decently sized island. Um, so for the entire one shot, I was in changeling form. I okay. don't remember that. So. Um, and you rest overnight again. Um, you do recover all your stamina. Okay. This time. Um, do we recover everything? No, because you guys are still. Oh. What we spent during the currently one shot. from oh, the one shot. So. Gotcha. Um, I stood on the ship the first day. And on the on the second day, um, you and the tree uh, stay on the beach relaxing, while the other three head. Um, more inland to another area than you guys discovered. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, Ozzel goes with them as well. Uh, oh, goodness. <coughs> well, I think we should ride meet him a new rock. A new rock? Yeah, why not? It's pretty attached to the one he's got. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I bet you we could uh, switch it out and see if he notices. <coughs> I give him ten seconds. You think so? Yeah. It's pretty attached to it. Yeah. Unless like you find a polished one, kind of feel very different, you know. Yeah, there is. No, that's, that's fair. To, like a piece of coral. So, like, but I feel like we should mess. Are with... there rivers on this island? They eventually end up smooth and kind of tumbled, right? Could go find one. Adventure to the river. Did, you said we explored a little bit, right? Now. A little bit. Find a a little smooth bit. rock. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most exciting adventure ever. <laughs> this is like <laughs> like an episode of Adventure Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel more, like more like a it, bit. it's more so. like we went from um, really great adventures to Blues Clues. <laughs> Where's the this rock? is this is just like, just like in any good cartoon or anime. This is the beach episode. Can you, you say rock work? in Spanish? No. <laughs> what Spanish? <laughs> you better figure that out. Because can, can you, you say, say rock in deep speech? <laughs> <laughs> Sal just looks up this ear piercing screech. Actually, can you say rock in Sylvan? <laughs> You have to pronounce it just like that. <laughs> Celest- <laughs> Celestial's just ear pier- piercing pitch changes. Because <laughs> I have Celestial too, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, R2. <laughs> I wish I could do R2. <laughs> it actually can <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I know, I'm not even trying. Those are the only two languages I know how to say rock in, so you're welcome. <laughs> So we find this rock or what? <laughs> Adventure for a rock. Yay. It's just the fourth wall brick looks dead at the camera. Can you say a rock? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you all heading inland then? Yes. yes. Alright. Um, so you haven't come across any rivers in the spots that you have, have uh, looked at so far, so you can head to a new spot? Yeah. Cool. Go ahead. I was going to say, we probably... Well, we've traveled this area of the island before, I'm assuming. Oh, so we have a pretty vast knowledge of where we're at so we won't lose the ship. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we're just going to get a little lost on the island. Yeah, it's going to be... We don't have to come next week, Percy, and I won't have to come <laughs> on the that island. That would be hysterical, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand on the to. beach as a tree. I 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. guarantee that they would not be able to find us. <laughs> <laughs> what is that really weird bird sound? 
Why does it keep making that noise? Kick off! Kick off! <laughs> that that does not sound like a bird. I'm yelling rock and celestial! <laughs> That's what it is! <laughs> Come and find us! It's a massive game of hide and seek on the island. <laughs> Technically, it's more. We got lost looking for a rock, and they have to come find us and rescue us. <laughs> and then we have to reverse pickpocket the rock. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the adventures when of you post this online, you absolutely have to post this as the Bumble adventure for the rock. <laughs> okay. And then we need to put a picture of Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Attempt to find the rock. I would like to slide of hand Dwayne the Rock Johnson into <laughs> Ethan's <laughs> arms. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see anything. <laughs> Would like to use minor illusions seventeen times to build different parts of Dwayne the Rock Johnson at one time. Minor illusion unless you do a. Uh, It'd be a very small Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You can do a full person. It's a small Johnson, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Never. That's the whole point of minor illusion is you can create like, up to a person size. Sure? Yes. Okay. He created it, so I sure damn hope you sure. Size small or smaller? Can you cancel? It cannot make any sound um, or can be seen, so. I need to make that little. I need to make that bigger than. Can you cancel spells? Because that's why I got rid of yeah. it. Can you cancel it in the middle of it? What do you mean? Like, okay, if I face step, can I cancel it in the middle of it and stay in the Feywilds? Let's <laughs> just take. <think>, shit. <laughs> And then, and then half face step back. I feel like you would cut yourself in half, <laughs> probably. And here ends. Just jump, the- Xander. <laughs> I would like to loot ends. Xander. Xander begins in the Feyland. I would like to loot his half of the body that's on this side. They're on their Please own adventure. Please give me the, the noble over. rope. Please give me the noble ropes. <laughs> Everyone else is on their own adventure. I'm just running terrified for my life through the Feyland. That'll kill you. Exactly. I don't know. I was just I'm trying sorry, to think of I a way to... I need to bring my brother back, but here's your ropes. <laughs> <laughs> your son's no more, but here's the ropes you give him. Just trying to think of a way to easily jump between dimensions. <laughs> if I could just cancel the smell out. We are looking for a rock, not another dimension. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm not sure you're in this yet. fabric of reality. It's okay. We'll <laughs> the story's still on the normal day at the beach. <laughs> Alright, so we venture inland? Yeah. We venture inland. Why not? <laughs> and uh, as you're traveling, um, you know, it's about an hour later. You guys are definitely past the spots where you've looked at before. Um, and you're in new territory. And as you're going, it's uh, the trees are getting much thicker. Um, and the vines are getting also much thicker. The, the whole foliage is much more dense where you're going through here. Or you could think you left the tree behind because uh, you wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> and <laughs> nothing's done. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see here. No, I don't want a Word document. Clicked on the wrong button. Let's go open up to my backstory. Go away, <laughs> Um, Can I take out my small dagger and start hacking away at some of the foliage to make a, or is that too small? That that would be too small. Okay. Uh-huh. Can I roll a survival check to see if I can find water? Sure. Yeah. Can I assist with a perception check to see if I can hear water? Sure. Can I seduce water? <laughs> Depends um, on the water. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible <laughs> survival check. That was a, an 11. 19 to perception. Okay. Um... <coughs> You do hear what sounds to be some water off over there. How'd my survival check go? Uh, there's a lot of plants around, um, which means there's probably water somewhere nearby. <laughs> what color is the foliage? <laughs> it's all green. Perfect. <laughs> so water. Means there's probably some good water nearby. Water's oh, that way. The water. <laughs> we have to find the water. As you guys head on through, uh, you travel for about five more minutes. And you come to a small cliff face, um, which has a trickle of water coming out of it. That's it. That's it. Man, that was a great perception check, man. I was able to find that trickle of water. 
What color is the leaves again? It's green! Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to hold my water okay. still up to the trickle. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get full eventually. <laughs> Azazel will cup his hand and taste it. Salt water. I uh, may not want that. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. <laughs> um, it's got to be fresh water somewhere for all these green plants. Or we could just break a hole in this rock and see what's inside. As you're looking at this rock, you realize this is not a standard cliff face. This has, in fact, been carved by tools. Fascinating. Religion check? Sure. Arcana check? Sure. Do it. Join us. Join us. <laughs> History check. There okay. you go. 18 to religion. Okay. 14 to arcana. 18 to history. Okay. We're all like, study this rock. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so, as you all are looking at it, um, I feel like Oz is just like this. What a bunch of idiots. It's just a <laughs> rock with water coming out of it. <laughs> like leaning into the rock, and he's like, <laughs> You guys never seen rock water coming out of a rock before? <laughs> no. <laughs> Someone with a sheltered life. Very. You do come to a couple of realizations. You do real, recognize this rock is magical, actually. There is an enchantment placed on it. I wish Cab was here. <laughs> so you lick the rock. <laughs> and a sudden hurt. From your Felix. religion check, um, you do feel the touch of a deity. Okay. Um, an old touch of a deity. Uh, so you're not sure not which been recent. one. Not been recent. Okay. And uh, from your history check, you, thinking about it, you do remember some legends of an ancient group of people that used to live on some of the islands near Saipet. Um And you have a feeling that they had something to do with crafting of some kind, but hey, you don't remember much more than that. Um, you don't know whether they just made tools, whether they made sculptures. They could have been arcane crafters, uh, but it, it, they made a, might have sewed shit for all you know. But um, <laughs> there was some sort of crafting involved, <laughs> right? Yeah, they, they made something. <laughs> this is a fascinating rock. So. With I, looking at you all, I can tell, but <laughs> it's a rock. I <laughs> well, some deity. You can't tell that this was a carved rock. This is not just a cliff face. I mean, sure, but we're on an island that probably had people at some point. Did you just call him deity? <laughs> no, not him. There's been a deity on this island. At oh, some I point. could have swore you just called him deity because I was gonna say I don't think you said God I mean, status yet. I kind yet. of am, but not <laughs> like I'm a descendant ish. It's complicated. Oh. Forced birthing, you know. <laughs> We're in charge of a trading company. <laughs> That's not the same. <laughs> My uncle's in charge of a country? He wins. <laughs> <laughs> Our trading company runs the country we in. <laughs> what family? So I mean, it's short, brother. Shut up, I know. What family? I don't have a family. <clears throat> there, there. I have a cat. <laughs> Can... I have a capybara. I was going to say, are you seeing cats? <laughs> no, here that's a with capybara. me. I'm talking about mist. <laughs> Can I go up to the rock face and just pound <laughs> on it? Just yeah. like one or two pounds. Can you? Let me ask you a question. Hmm. Outside of the game, can your morph liquid? Could you feel like if there's, like, can you feel how much more body of water is behind that rock with that? I don't think so. Just based on the text, I know okay. is that something that. I um, could feel. It. I mean, I, w I would let you. I would let you say augment one of your skill checks by using your morph liquid ability. Yeah, you could probably do like a nature check along with it. Or and I'd let you spend like one magic point or a perception check to, to, see to use the water. your. <laughs> yep. Okay. You, can, you can absolutely Creative. use your skills outside of because at this and point use your, use your abilities. If you can't then, find anything, meteor from sky. 
Oh, I was gonna Rock. summon an undead thrall inside. I'll actually do that. I'll, I'll use morph liquid to aug- <laughs> and on the little trickle of water coming out of the rock face to augment my nature check. Yeah. And see. Yeah. So I should I mean, do I'd, that I'd first. also let so you go for a perception check. You could do as well. Um, okay. Nature, arcana. <laughs> Don't tell him you're doing it. Wait, do it now. Do it now. I'll do. You can't. I'll do it with an arcana <laughs> check. That's probably gonna be my best bet. Yeah. What is that? Uh. And so I'll let you roll with an advantage on this. That would be oh. amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank God that was an advantage. The last second one was on that one. Um, Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Um, so as as you're you know pushing around and trying to grab hold of the water, um, you know that you typically can't grab hold of tiny amounts of water, but you also can't grab hold of massive. And as you feel it, you're trying to grab hold of it, and you can't. You can't grab hold. And then, as you keep reaching a little bit further, you are able to grab hold of a good chunk of water, and you can tell that this is just a small piece of the water that's surrounding it. So okay. you, there is a good chunk of water back there. Question. Answer. When I summon undead thralls, can I see through their eyes at all? You cannot. Ah, oh, darn it. Certainly not at your current level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you communicate? Um, do I have to be able to see where I'm summoning them? Yes. Darn it. So you, but you in, could in summon fact, one and with, then send it With your it ability, away. you can only summon in touch range. Oh. But okay. you could send it away. D- do I have to actually have like a dead body or anything? Nope. Okay. I just no. It, it is a summon, not the, a like touch the ground next to me or something. Yeah. Or it, it just has to. You be just in take touch a bone range. from every single person range. from the group. <laughs> we just slowly start losing ribs. <laughs> You have a creature made of. Why do a, I feel like Adam? <laughs> you have a skeleton that's made up entirely of ribs, <laughs> and my chest cavity is just collapsed. <laughs> I mean, you're changing. So like normal, probably. Like, oh, right. We shall figure that out. You're already slender, man. I mean, <laughs> we shall call him Ribula. Okay. <laughs> um, our, he I'll is keep... my brother, Ribula. I will, I'll communicate that there's a, to the rest of the party that there's a large amount of water back there. So you don't need a meteor from the sky? I mean, maybe to get the wall open. <laughs> but I mean, if that's if there's not a lot of water. I can feel more back there. I just can't tell if it's like... I'm thinking that there's like a street, like a like a river. Well, is This is salt water, right? Yes. I think we should find some sort of fresh water. So okay. that's fair. With elemental <clears throat> shock, can I turn like the water that's in the um, rocks into ice? Yep. Yeah. And we can break them. We but, can we can mess with this water, but if we could also go find s- fresh water, it's up to. The I group. guess that's fair. Because yeah, this is this is just well, salt water. We're not necessarily looking specifically for fresh water. We're, we're I mean, I can create rock. a lot of rocks with my, if it works. Um, can I do either a knowledge check or an arcana check to see what kind of arcane spell was used on it? Yes. Arcana check. Okay. That's a 21. Okay. Um, So as you are doing it, um, you reach out with the magical energy and there you come in contact with the spell again. And it is an active spell. Um... It's an old spell, but uh, you're not sure its exact function, but it uh, seems to be specifically on an area about 8 feet wide and about 10 feet tall. Uh, It looks like there might even be two of them right next to each other, 4 feet each. And it's about 6 feet to the right of the uh, trickle of water. I think there's a doorway here. A doorway? A magical doorway. So there might be a possible way to disenchant it to get the door to open. Maybe if we yell rock real loud, it might open. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, so have you seen anything like this before? Carved rock? All the time. So, it's... uh, if I believe there's a door here. Enchanted doors, also all the time. Okay, so how do we get it open? Well, 
Sometimes there's a password. Sometimes there's a key. Um, <laughs> at the, at the typically, way. there's something enchanted that <laughs> goes into the enchanted. The second he says password, I want to jump like like to where he like. <laughs> the, I want to just jump and kind of stance. Open sesame. <laughs> and at that point, Felix will just go. Nothing happens. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> if only we had somebody here who could lick it. <laughs> what an odd statement. <laughs> Why would you need to lick it? Licking the rock? it would sometimes work, you know, certain people's DNA could unlock it, but very possible. Yes, lick. Shall we play a game? <laughs> Fine. The fact that you're actually going along with this, I'm so surprised. <laughs> I just yelled open sesame. At this point, no old barn. <laughs> so, I win, you lose. You lose, I win. Whoever loses licks the door. That's exactly what I said. Okay, then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the best part about that, you definitely went on one, two, three, and you definitely went on one, two, three, shoot. So his was down for a full like, second and a half. And you still play paper. Nope. You were you were so committed to playing paper that it didn't even matter what you played. You were even looking at it like right You know the rules. You know the rules growing up. Best of one. No, it was best of three. You no, know it was best of one. You know it. You know it was best of one. Lick the door. <laughs> I will go up. Today, brother, we don't have all day. <laughs> Shut up, and I will lick the door. <laughs> I will like lick rock. the rock. Okay. <laughs> With a hint of salt? <laughs> a little bit. A little look at him. Nothing. <laughs> How's your tongue feel? Salty. It's <laughs> unfortunate. It's a rock. <laughs> you wish you had some dumplings now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I've concluded do. that there is a door. Okay. Can I do a... <clears throat> Perception check on the foliage around me to see if there's any of in the close proximity is giving or an arcana check that's giving off enchanted vibes. Yeah, go that ahead. That could possibly be the key. Yeah, vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these are that's going to be a 17. Okay, Damn. so as you do, um, you start reaching out with your magical energy around you, you do find three trees that are giving off magical energy. Did, did you tell ever did you tell the group that there's mm-hmm. switches or which which trees are which Well there's tre- three trees in the general vicinity that are both they're all giving off. Uh, I mean is it obvious which ones? Like do you yeah. know are they okay. Yeah. Yeah it's it's that one there, that one there and the one that's way up there. Have fun. <laughs> I go to the closest Actually, one to the it's l- that one there. <laughs> <laughs> I go to one the closest one to the left. <laughs> I'll go to one of the other ones. Okay. I'll, I'll go to one of them. Yeah. <clears throat> so what do we do? Just like... I don't put, know. I'm <laughs> just like that. put my hands on it and see if I can find anything. All right. So as you're doing it, um, the moss and vines start pulling away and the uh, tree is not actually a tree. It's oh. a pole. Um, okay. Can I dress my... pole is engraved. Can I check my pole for traps? Sure. <laughs> Investigation Ooh. check. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a six. <laughs> Not that trapped. tree is okay. just dandy. That pole that tree pole. is just dandy. Are there, you said that there, are, it's a pole, did you say that there's like runes or? Ruined. Runes? Yep, it is ruined. It is ruined? Yep. I'm assuming each tree or each pole has a different ruined? Uh, I mean, it's got lots of runes. Oh, like covering. okay. It, it, it's been engraved in okay. a script. <clears throat> Would, would it be better to try and figure out what type of runes there would be better with an arcana check or a linguistics? Or, yeah, linguistics. Linguistics. Well, what languages do each of you speak? Uh, Sylvan and Celestial. Common, yeah. primordial. Yeah. Common. Uh, common, primordial, deep speech, and draconic. Okay. Dang, what does Azazel speak? He's a <laughs> That's a given. Yeah. Let me mention that. That is, that's actually a DM special. Yeah, get that. <laughs> you had to pre-order. We can, it. <laughs> we can get the 
the smart ass, we can't get dumbass. Oh, okay. Common celestial deep speech. Oh, we can speak. Oh, so he understood when I said rock. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your accent's just a little off. <laughs> and it is in deep speech. Cool. So I can understand it. Mm-hmm. Nice. So, as you're looking at it, it, it is an old form of deep speech, and there are some words that you can't old. <laughs> quite... Yes. Can't quite... Uh, an older form of deep speech. Which, seeing as deep speech itself is an ancient language, this must be... Really? Well, this language is old as shit. <laughs> okay. In fact, it might even be older than shit. Things may not have been shitting when this language was made. It's older than Edom. <laughs> <laughs> That's old. <laughs> okay, so... That's how we age things now. It's older. Is it older or younger than Edom? <laughs> 20 questions. All right. <laughs> Will it fit in the bread box? Cool. Is it older than Edom? Cool. <laughs> So can I semi at least translate this? You can. Okay. Um, and the gist of what you're getting out of it is that um, charge these poles to open the door. Charge. Charge. Okay. And that word you're fairly confident on is that it says charge. So now do we run at these poles <laughs> or do we use lightning? That's a lot of magic. How far away are these poles? From each other? Yes. They're about 30 feet apart from each other. Fuck. That won't work. Can I pick the element I use with elemental strike? No, it's your okay. element. Okay, Mr. let me ask you a question. <laughs> Vanguard lightning. Just go with me. Let me get my whole train of thought out. Okay. If I expel the magic and make this go 30 feet in the air, can I get it to arc? By using shadow, shadow reach. Let me let me uh, before you answer that. Are there things that are taller than the poles? Yes. Okay. So, how tall are the poles? Each one's about fifteen feet tall. Okay. So if I were to go about roughly twenty feet above the poles, would I be able to arc them between? So is it? 30 feet, so I'm 30 feet away from Guanaira, so it's a total of it's, 60 feet. It's, it's, a, it's a triangle, so 30 feet, 30 feet, and then about like 47. Fifth, okay. So is that would that even be a possibility then, or would it be too far away for the arcs to actually You'd work? be too far away, really. Okay. Well, I don't have any kind of lightning. I do. Can I chain Eldritch Bolt between two of them? No, I mean, you could cast Eldritch Bolt at one of them. Okay. How about Eldritch Beam? Yeah, you could you could Eldritch Beam. Is there a place that I could... targets? Uh, no, I could target all of them. For every two points of magic, conjure an additional beam to hit the same or different target. So, yes. essentially... And read the next sentence. Can I spend more magic than twice? Oh. Sucks when we're level one. No, I'm level two. Level two. Um, yes, yeah, so you can conjure two beams right now. Okay, so you do two. <laughs> I can Eldritch Bolt the third one. <clears throat> Is that electric damage though? Is that lightning damage? No, it's just arcane. arcane. Okay. I mean, I. So it's either I charge spend... could mean lots of things in this sure. instance. That's fair. That's f- oh yeah, that's fair. Especially because we don't think about. Batteries and storing charge of electricity. Um, I could hit with darkness beam. Can I inspect my pole to see if I can get discern whether it would be divine or shadow? Sure. Would that be... Make arc- either a divine or shadow check. Or arcane. Okay, because I don't have... Oh, I do have Shadow. I yeah. see that now. Cool. That is going to be a 24. Okay. So Arcane. Um, so as you're feeling, it definitely has an Arcane energy about it. Um, the, the Arcane energy itself feels 
low. And as you're probing it with your own arcane energy, it feels a little warmer. So okay. we could just try and push arcane energy into him. Okay. Could I smite mine? <laughs> sure. <laughs> with divine? Sure. It's going to break and then we're not going to be able to open it. <laughs> <laughs> While he does that, I just want to see if I can put my hands on the one I'm next to and just push magic into it. Make an arcana check. I didn't even think about doing that. <laughs> Man, I was going to bolt mine. We <laughs> were both like, attack it! And I'm like, let's just do subtle. <laughs> I'm going to do I'm gonna do the arcane pump to it, I think. It'd be a little better. 24. Okay. <laughs> what did you roll? I rolled a 6. Oh, okay. 18. That is not the attack. Or, sorry, 16. <laughs> 8 now. plus 8. Nick. So what are, you, what are you doing? I'm using smite. You're smiting oh. it? Yes. Okay. So um, you uh, raise your hand and call forth the uh, the power of the deities, and it strikes down upon the pole, and there's a little smudge <laughs> right about there. Yes. But other than that, uh, it's cold. Was there like a little ball that bounced off the side? <laughs> no, I feel like it just went. <laughs> Sad, um, Sad electrical shooting noises. blanks, basically. <laughs> Was there at least very, very tiny firework? <laughs> yes. I feel like you're giving me more credit than I appreciate it, but I was content with the. <laughs> <laughs> you have not reached a high enough level. On your two pillars. Uh, they start to glow. <laughs> You're trying too hard. Hey, what did you guys do over there? <laughs> I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look him dead in the face. Hand, arcane energy, pull. <laughs> hey, question. What did you do over on yours? I pushed arcane magic into the pole. Thank you. I totally get that now. I, I will do what when I were saying. Make an arcana check. Just gonna lean over and look at him and just. <laughs> This is the skill check dice. It has to be. Because I rolled a 19. Okay. Or no, I rolled a total of 19. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, uh, your pole begins to glow as well now. And we and all turn and look in the door. <laughs> there's a gentle rumbling as the door swings open. Please tell me a Zazel is standing in front of it and he gets hit with a wave of water. Uh, there's not a wave of water. Darn it. What? <laughs> Now you can't fly because you're waterlogged. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark in here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not have dark vision? I don't. He does. Oh, I don't. I five. <laughs> you don't have dark vision. We're just gonna go inside and fall on our. Faces. I noticed that yesterday, last campaign or last session, I was like, my sense yeah. is normal vision. Yeah, you don't even Shit. have low light. No. What is this? So, I'm so used no to light having dark vision. something. Yeah. Alright, so you get to go first. Yeah, um, I don't um, even Hang on a second. How about the guy who can manipulate some sort makes a fucking torch for the people who can't fucking see? Oh yeah, that, this gives me this gives me perfect time. I'm gonna take out my um, my modified <laughs> bullseye lantern that just has a hole in the back of it, stick my hand through it, and I'm gonna cast daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Shining it is also. Awesome. <laughs> no, I don't blind the poor guy! <laughs> it would be so funny! <laughs> <laughs> Alright! What? <laughs> I need to spend the, oh, I need to spend the magic for it. <laughs> so, well, the inside of that uh, chamber is definitely quite bright now. <laughs> and now we're all Any sort of creatures in there are pissed off. Now, are there any bats? We probably. The, the, batch just, the batch just falls to the ground because they're so white. <laughs> 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 I can't even fly. I would like to pull a Morbius and just hold my hand out and let the bats come to my blood. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not vampire bats. But they're fruit bats. <laughs> they're fruit bats. <laughs> Which means they're definitely attracted to you. <laughs> Why? Because he's got carrots on him. Oh. Uh. Fruit cake. Oh. Root kick. Since you can think we didn't bring the tree, you might flower and grow fruit. <laughs> so do you all head inside? Yes. It is a small chamber all said and done. Um, That's probably would be a good idea to check this chamber before. 
<laughs> that <laughs> lighted up with 900,000 lumens. <laughs> and the door closes. So next week. It does, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. As you step in, the door rumbles shut behind you. We're going to find a rock. <laughs> We're going to find all the rocks. <laughs> and uh, the chamber is pretty bare. But to your left is a pool of water, of which you can see a small crack and the water that the water is trickling out of. Um, where this water comes from, you're not sure, because it doesn't look like... It looks full. <clears throat> okay. As you uh, inspect it, it does look like it goes down quite a ways. You know how to swim. Have fun. Okay. You might want to take my brother with you. I'm going to pat no the capybara on the head. <laughs> I'm going to check the water before I jump into it. Okay. A Is perception there any... check or investigation? What, what are you What are you checking for? Um, I guess traps. Investigation. Doesn't matter. The same number. I got nine. <laughs> Your reaction, I thought you got a nat 20. <laughs> no, that was a dirt. Uh, no, you don't find any traps. Okay. <laughs> is the water... Can I just dip my finger in it? Because is the water salty or... It, it is salty. Okay. I guess I'm going to jump into it. And okay. Swim. All right. I go 20 feet and can't see anything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Does Dalen work underwater? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going... We're just going to leave you... you. you. I'm with Azizel. I'm assuming you he can't swim. I can swim. I don't know how this. Is, how this came up. You, you, you looked and said you can swim. Well, <laughs> all of you I can swim. I can breathe underwater though. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that. no, that's um, what that was. I think. No, because the last session, she said I was going to drown. I was like, I can swim. I know how to swim. And she's like, No, you can't. So <laughs> I figured that's where that was going. How far down does it look? Like it goes. You can't see the bottom, actually. So is there, just <clears throat> before we do anything with this water, anything else with this water, is there any other exits or entrances in this room? There's not. Uh, well, you're going to get your feathers wet, buddy. Um, no. Okay, then you can live here. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Caveman. <laughs> I'll, I'll get out. <laughs> okay. Well, do we want to see what's in the water? He's going to walk over to the door. I wonder if it works from this side, too. He puts his hands on it. <laughs> Stop being smart! And the doors start to glow. And they slide open. Enjoy your water, guys! You're not going to join us? I, I don't swim. I guess that's... He legitimately does not have a swim suit. <laughs> Can't we dispel water? Can't you move water? Yes. A little at a time. Five cubic feet of it, not... Fucking a monstrous pool of it. What do we want to try do? harder? <laughs> Can I roll an arcana check and see if there's any other magical doors in this room? Sure. I'll assist. Doesn't with it that. make sense uh, that I'm that more of a water ganasi and t- so I can breathe and swim? <laughs> 24. 24? Nine. Okay. <laughs> Nine. Um, you do not see any other doors. Nothing magical. Does so, the water look magical? It does not. All that's in here right now is just... Basically, we're in a enclosed cave. Yep. Nothing else with just a pool of water. Yep. Perfect. That's a lame. <laughs> can I roll a history check to see if I can figure out what this might be? Sure. Where's your... <laughs> that was terrible. You're just still kind of just like floating 20 yeah. feet down in the water. I mean, I'm, I'll go back to the surface, otherwise I couldn't have seen the walls. <laughs> but at seven? <laughs> no idea. Is anyone better at history? <laughs> I can try. Hey, Dom. Shut up. <laughs> I have a three He's history. dying on the coast do, right now. <laughs> I can do an assist with the history check. Okay, super, dude. super seasick. Uh, third... Thirteen. History. Twenty-one. History. <laughs> well, seeing as it was an island, the uh, the people that lived here could probably swim really well. Maybe this is an entrance. 
Do we want to try? <laughs> and see what's so how does this work if we can only swim 15 feet? So I have a swim speed of 15 feet. Yeah, per, per six Oh, seconds. well, it doesn't matter to me because I don't have to breathe. Right. How does that work for him? <laughs> Shape shift into water, Ganassi, and then I... It's called an ice primal. <laughs> oh, I thought we were doing Ganassi still. No. New oh, okay. uh, Ganassi's been gone for a while. Oh, yeah, that's right. You could do that. Never mind. Now I can well, breathe underwater. That wouldn't let you breathe underwater. You don't get abilities of what you're oh. doing, <coughs> typically. Could you morph water out of the way of your head? Could you morph water out of your lungs? Actively morph water out of your lungs? Well, and, and you can hold your breath for a number of minutes equal yeah, to your okay. endurance. Oh, <laughs> but you're one minute! One. Sure! <laughs> you better swim fast, buddy. That's a whole well, minute. We could go down which, a little which bit. Which means that, you know, it. off of 15 feet every six seconds, you can swim 150 feet underwater. Yeah, we could do that. Without even needing to worry about it. But I have to set the stage real fast. Give me a second. <laughs> I, morph liquid. You can control five cubic feet of liquid. The liquid can be moved we up to ten feet as a free action each turn. <laughs> I can us. just, I can just conjure, like, a foot in front of my mouth that's water, and just move it. Yep. <laughs> I'll be fine. You could also, you know, in that five cubic feet, you could remove the water in front of you. Put it right behind you. This is going to screw up your recording if I tell you. Creating a. Uh, do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they come launching out of the water. Woo! <laughs> yeah, doing a. Uh, um, doing a, a low pressure in front of you and high pressure behind you to propel you through the water faster. Welcome to all of the things you can come up with. You've just invented water skiing. <laughs> you know what's sad? You've just weird. invented walking on water. I had a I had a problem like that on my midterm in my thermal class about <laughs> long. I Andrew, I didn't know you took the midterms. I didn't even know you went to school. Of course, he went to school. He stayed at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. There was a uh, floof in the air. Oof. I caught it. So right, well, let's go. Cha- yeah. Changing into an ice. Elementalist. Primal. Primal. Primal, yes. Sorry. Does that increase your speed or anything, or is that tied to your... It just initial? makes you look different. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to change The only you. thing that that really changes is if you change into a Valkyrie. Yeah. Since they have wings. Your, your but wings if you are, have we some physical flippers. Wings. We discussed that in the previous... We did. Thing. None of them have flippers. Um, I guess that's so I will change into a ice primal and spend that magic. So if we happen to come across some, I don't look so weird. Okay. It's a giant orange glow stick. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you don't want to be an orange cream stick anymore? No. <laughs> Not really. You can other things to lick you and see if you're magical. Ew. <laughs> I want Edhum to know that we are really working hard to find him on the rock. <laughs> Our tank left us because he can't swim. Yep. And we, we left the other tank that might be able to swim being a tree back at the beach. And the other tank that also might be able to swim is back at the beach. So the squishies are coming on an adventure together. Yes, they are. The squishies. Well done, guys. Squishies. Well done. Squish adventures. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do the morph liquid thing. Then. <laughs> I'm just going to swim. <laughs> My swim speed is 40, by the way. Yes, so he should go and, well, probably he's the one who has the light. I probably won't swim that fast, though, because I don't want to leave the light. Because yeah. then I won't be able to see. I feel like you're doing this the whole time. Sup, bitches. <laughs> swim faster. Yep. <laughs> All right. Bye, so. Azazel. If we don't come back, mourn us. Will do. Please keep the door open. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can have my brother's right. rations. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's got some really Take care nice of my capybara, bars. please. Good. I'll make sure he stays safe. Uh, she. She. Thank you. Might you. Eat it. Don't eat my capybara. Why would I eat your capybara? <laughs> might be a little gonna, bit thinner by the time we come back. I'm gonna do a majestic just <laughs> with the light on, with the light in front of me. <laughs> all right. So you all are. Uh, 
Diving into the water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Belly flopping into the water? Yes. <laughs> he just slowly sinks. <laughs> Don't hit me. Bro, 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 bro. Pretty sure I'm still in the How water. Why did you <laughs> jump from the ground to <laughs> land that hard? No, I just literally oh, right. fell in and <laughs> just let the water absorb me. All right. And literally so you're swimming down, down, down. 15 seconds pass. 20. 30. Oh, <laughs> Can we, we reach see? the bottom? Is there anything there? Goes forward for a little bit, and then it curves upwards. Ooh. You've got about 30 seconds of air left. I'm going to morph liquid around my... Is there any way I can grab him and swim faster? Well, I mean, he was keeping up quite well with his uh, okay. um, morph liquid trick. Okay. How much magic would I have to spend for, for that? Um, All of it. <laughs> Uh, five. It, it's five a new second. skill. <laughs> cool. All right. One per six seconds. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Do you uh, do you go yeah around the corner or do you head back up? No, we're going go around, around the, the corner. corner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you head around the corner. We must find the rock. Five seconds. <laughs> Ten. Fifteen. <laughs> Twenty. Oh God. And then your heads break the surface. Oh good. Oh good. <sighs> and the two of us are just like staring. Can you like... do that any louder? <laughs> <laughs> like for real, brother. Screw you. <laughs> Why don't we just have lungs? <laughs> we, next time we can just announce that we're here by saying we're here. <laughs> Excuse me <laughs> for needing to breathe. While they argue, I'm gonna look around the room. That's All right. I just still got you to lick a rock. So, you're looking around, and it's really, really dark in here. Okay. You can't see more than about that far away from you. Is light's not still going? You want to bring your daylight up and out of the water? Yeah, and without blinding. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll aim it up so it does the light I projection. I appreciate you not aiming it at my face. All right. So, as you do, there is an archway. Okay. And that archway then leads into... A uh, another room. Is there any writing on the walls? Not on the walls. That. Is there any writing on the archway? There is. Does it say "bitch, bi- speak, bitch, and enter"? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's an open archway. <laughs> so just yell "bitch" on your way through. <laughs> Something changed. You gotta, you gotta do the whole douchebag thing <laughs> as you're walking through the door. I don't think I'm tall enough. <laughs> Smack the arch for good luck. <laughs> and uh, above it, it says. Welcome to Lassaterk. Lassaterk? Lassaterk. It says, welcome to Lassaterk. Is it in, I'm assuming, deep speech? It is. Alright. I really gotta learn that language. <laughs> this is the only time it's probably gonna be useful. <laughs> <laughs> That's Four years of college for this. <laughs> uh, two, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, well. Um... So you said it's an open archway? It is. Okay. <laughs> we continue to point it upwards as we walk, just in case How there's something in front. the archway? Like, can we see, with his light, can we see what is beho- beyond the archway? Uh, if he was to aim his light past it, then, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. At the moment, with the point straight can up, can you just slowly... Is... Yeah, it um, yeah, I'll do that just so we can <laughs> We're see We're just going to be like... I, I just don't want to, like, point it down and there's, like, a friendly or something. Like, ah, oh, God, they can't save. <laughs> We really don't know what's friendly yet. I'm just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> as, you, uh, as you aim it downwards, you can see, laid out, it is an enormous cavern. Are there any rocks? I mean, it's all rocks. <laughs> There's literally a rock right under the archway. <laughs> hey, I found it! Let's go! <laughs> it looks almost identical to Edom's. Okay, adventure over. And it's, it's a laid out underground city. Ooh. Holy shit. It is in ruins. Okay. It looks like it has been abandoned for quite some time. Hmm. Nice. Well, I'm gonna get out of the water. Okay. Could I check the surrounding area underneath the archway for traps? Yeah, absolutely. Just gonna get out of the water and spill the water out of my hair. <laughs> that is what a perception check, right? For traps? Uh, or yeah. Insight. Yeah. That's going to be a seven. 
Okay. You do not find any traps. Okay. <laughs> None of us have a high investigation, do we? No, <laughs> my, mine is a two. Yeah, I have a three perception. <laughs> Why did you just roll? That's a uh, um, 14 against everybody's um, insight defense. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. 14? Mm-hmm. That's, I, yeah, I'm good too. Okay. That's actually um, my highest one. <laughs> the uh, hackles on the back of your neck all... Of course I just rolled a 20. What a waste. <laughs> all raise up. Can I use that? <laughs> he can't kill us. We have to make it back to the boat. The continuity <laughs> would be screwed up. Do you? <laughs> Roll new characters. The, the, you, you're going to have Owen and Persky come rescue us? Maybe. That would be really funny. We're just, we have to escape the dungeon and they have to find us. They just go and they, they just see us also just standing there. I really feel like they won't. No, they won't. <laughs> Persky will He's stay on my the beach. So our hackles stand up. Mm-hmm. Um, well, could we roll to see where that came from? Arcana check? Sure. Let's see if it was a magically... Sure. Perception check, see if you can see anything. It definitely came from the city. Can I do a dungeoneering check? Sure, I'd allow that. Would that work in this instance? Yeah. I rolled an eight. I'll do it. I'm going to do Arcana. Yeah, yeah. I rolled a two. (laughs) We we be fucked. Uh, 13. Okay. 11. Okay. (laughs) We're like, Um, I wonder what happened. There's something kind of magical down there, but you're not you're not sure what it's from. Okay. How how big is this cavern? Can like? I do a shadow um, check? The size of a small town. Uh, real oh, quick. Yeah. Uh, there, there, there is an underground like, city here. Who right. speaks deep speech? Deep speech is spoken by. A beholder. <laughs> level two going up a level twelve beholder. Yeah. Woo! Not good with the squishies. Well. Yeah. With Sorry, the squishies. Abyssal. My bad. Which they wouldn't have something. You speak abyssal, not deep speech. <laughs> okay. It's not between our deep speech anymore. Correct. Six. Yeah. It, it's abyssal. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is um, the journey of the husky boys of Hollywood. It's the main trade language of the rings of hell, and the land of uh, and the demons and devils. Oh, lovely. A B Y S S A L. Correct. Okay. Um, can I take a rock and throw it down into the city to yeah. see if it okay. if the city is protected by some sort of arcane magic? I'm gonna do a shadow check to see if I can okay. tell if there's shadow magic. Go ahead, both of you. Or so you you just throw your rock on down and it kind of bounces in and then vanishes. Bounces in and vanishes. 18. 18? Um, there is a potent shadow force in here. Well, like all of you to make a perception check as you're kind of up here looking and studying. 13. 14. 7. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Felix. There's a town down there. <laughs> Guys, I threw a rock and it disappeared. It was pretty cool. cool. Yeah. You want to see me do it again? Yeah. I'm going to pick up another rock and throw it down there again. Cool. It bounces a couple times and vanishes. Actually, no. I would like to take the staff of Vankar out and try to... Pop. <laughs> no, we won't, we won't do that. Well, I'll just throw the rock down there. The Here's two of you, uh-huh. as you're looking, um, <clears throat> all of the buildings look slightly distorted. As you're looking at them, okay. can I aim and, the, uh, the? But as you're looking, they don't actually look to be in disrepair. So not like you would think from a ruin. Sure, there's stuff broken around them, but the buildings themselves actually look to be in good shape. Okay. Does the light from my da- daylight does it kind of stop, like when I aim it, it at the city? Okay. And uh, also, as you're looking you do notice what looks like it might be bones. 
Uh-oh. Where? <coughs> Inside the city. Cast a skeleton man up. Yeah, I was just thinking that actually... Can I summon an undead thrall? Yeah. So an undead thrall just... Have to comes up from the ground next to you. It is. You know if you could do that. That's a little creepy. <laughs> You're not careful. I'll have it chase you. No, no, I just said don't, don't piss you off. <laughs> I think We're still really... doing the whispering thing. <laughs> I'm just saying it loud. <laughs> okay, so can I have the skeleton go through the barrier? Sure. So the skeleton shambles on forward, and as it uh, enters the. Um, as it enters the, the area of darkness, nothing happens. Can we still see it there? You can. It looks a little hazy and okay. slightly distorted, but it is still there. Can I specifically do an arcana check on this door thing? Well, it's not on the door. It's, but, it's further away. Okay. How far well, away? Whatever, around this shimmer. You're, you're about 50 feet get a little closer. Yeah, you're, you're like at the doorway looking slightly down into oh, this. Oh, okay. The town is there. Okay. Is there a staircase leading down there? It, it's a slope. Just slope. Gentle slope. I'm going to head down we'll get a little closer to it. Okay. I will proceed and follow as well. I will, but I'll, I'll be behind. <laughs> okay. So all three of you uh, head on down, and now you're about ten feet from the... Uh... I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to check it out with shadow magic and see if okay. I can figure out if I know what this force field thing, whatever, shimmer... Thing sure. Is. I'm about to get fucked up. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, Sorry, whatever it is, it is malevolent. Oh, lovely. So evil? Essentially, yeah. I'm going to take the Staff of Fangar off. And I'm going to ask it, does that look like fun? <laughs> <laughs> for me, not for you. Do, do, we, do we hear you just openly talking to the Staff right now? <laughs> so they, are, they hear me talking to the Staff, but do they hear responses from nope. said Staff? Okay. Are you talking Easy to your yourself? Head. You have an imaginary friend. Have you met my brother? <laughs> You're imaginary? <laughs> no. Apparently. I, I grew up with him. Oh, so okay. I had to have imaginary friends. <laughs> I had a... Keeping him entertained was a... Yeah. It's not because you're a pop, an orange pop school. <laughs> uh, I'm not right now. I'm an elementalist. Let's uh, get this straight. Oh. Primal. Primal? Yeah. Oh, it was... Um... <laughs> I forgot my own backstory. <laughs> the, the um, your the, deity? Yeah, the de- the deity. Does does she say anything? Does has she been talking at all during this? Vulcus has not been talking. Okay. You really said. I put a god down, but I have no idea what this god is. <laughs> Which one? Uh. Kashak. Kashak. Kashik. Keshek is the chaotic good deity of weather. Interesting. Also the patron deity of the Rasa and Primals. Cool. That's probably why I picked it. <laughs> As you're looking around, the uh, it's built into a slight slope, the whole thing is. Mm-hmm. And as you're looking up, you do see what looks like a shrine or a temple of some kind. Up top there. Religion check. Can I aim the daylight at that? Yeah. Does it go past the barrier? Well, it doesn't go past the barrier. That's why I asked that before. And it is this room lit? It is cavern. Not at all. Correct. Okay. Um, you're doing a what? A history check. Religion. Religion. Um, I will assist in a religion check as well. Okay. No, I'll do it. Seventeen. Non natural twenty. Okay. Nice. So as you're uh, as you're looking up at it, um, you actually do spot the uh, the symbol of Vulcus, the uh, the goddess of smithing. Oi. <laughs> Have we 
Brenner cost to be honest with this many? Well, that's the one that's that's the goddess that's in my head. The one that talks to me. For real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you choose randomly? No. Oh, okay. No, I I, I, I picked I picked it. Well, I know I'm exactly what I'm doing. Oh. Uh oh. Um. So hang on. This time. I have a question. Yeah. Because we were talking about counterspell, you said that I could technically look through it using um, shade, shadow reach. Yeah. I could technically look through it. Yeah. Can I do that in this instance if I'm not using... So if I'm 10 feet away, that gives me a 30. Can I make a portal appear and look through it inside? Yeah. Now, it's, it's a little more than look through it. Like, I part of your face my, is going to yeah. go through. So it's, I risk getting stabbed in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the old look, you've got a new scar. A <laughs> new scar to the collection. I don't think any of us are the healers either. No, I am. I can oh, heal myself. Can. Yeah, it, yes, I can heal myself. Okay. <laughs> I have health potions. <laughs> well... Why not? I picked it for a reason. <laughs> Skip. So, Let's do with it. <laughs> where am I? So I'm 10 feet away. It's mm-hmm. 30 feet. So that I'm assuming if it does work, I could get 20 feet inside there. Yep. Um, from my location, is there like a kind of what's discreet place that I could cast this to where could not possibly cause bodily harm to my face? Not that you can tell. I mean, as far as you can tell, looking at this thing, it looks like it's not a barrier. It's something that's filling each street. Okay, um, so I will go ahead and do that then. In the middle of the street. Okay. I mean, I asked my question, I got my answer, so. Okay. Cool. You pop your head through. Oh. Ah. Um, 19 versus fortitude? That's going to hit. I thought so. Oh, gosh. Twenty-five points of shadow damage. Jesus. Oh. That'd be ouch. Do you put your face back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How bad does his face look? Um, it, it's a little melty. Oh, dear Lord, brother. <laughs> oh, thank God you can shift shift. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> oh, just... What's wrong? No, you, 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 no, just ch- change it back, change it back. Cover your face. <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm gonna go up and like push his melted part of his face <laughs> kind of up and like there you go. Do you want me to freeze it that way? So can I do a healing check to try to heal myself? Sure. Is that how that works? Put a block yeah. of ice around his head. <laughs> oh my guys is gonna cover this one. That's an eight. Okay. Um, you are able to regain six hit points off of that. <laughs> How many take, times can I do that? As many times as you want. Okay. Take some take some collagen, buddy. That'll it's restore that elasticity to your face. face. So, <laughs> uh, no, at this point, I think I'm like caught in, in a glitch where my face <laughs> is spazzing between primal and <laughs> changeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disturbing. <laughs> 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 I think two face, so now I got half an orange face and half my primal face. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Can I freeze his face? <laughs> I mean, oh. yes. <laughs> oh, clearly, so one of us got the looks. I'm just going to continue to do healing checks on myself. Okay, <laughs> that's how that works, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to freeze his face. That's not fair because <laughs> it's it's a twenty, and it's <laughs> it's it's cocked. <laughs> I mean, reroll. Yeah. <laughs> Well, damn. All right. That's a seven again. <laughs> <laughs> That's very bad. Two. <laughs> Slightly less glitchy. Slightly. Eight. Would you like any assistance? <laughs> One. Can I roll oh, a healing check? Shit. What was that? Back up. That it's was 
<laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Apparently, you're not meant to be healed. What did you get? I rolled a five, so plus my three in healing. I got, um, give me a second. I got like 20, eight. 22. <laughs> Oh, good. Um, 11. Is your face less glitchy? Yes. <laughs> did I help? It stabilized again. <laughs> How much did I give him back? Four. <laughs> okay, that's not horrible. Seven, <laughs> again. Three. Nah, you're fine, you know what I mean. <laughs> We're just of course, <laughs> and I roll in that 20. <laughs> right? Natural 20. Hey. And guess what? I'm putting it in the column. Because yep. it was a natural 20. So, Does he get a pizza since this is a one shot? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yep, yeah, all up. Cool. <laughs> so with a natural 20, do I just get all the rest of my health points left? How, how much are you down? Two! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to touch the barrier. There's a lot of shadow magic. Okay. Anybody have So, some? I mean, your hand does not meet any resistance. Do you put your hand in? I'd be careful. A little bit. Yeah. Your, uh, your face was looking like wax there, brother. About 31 <laughs> versus fortitude. <laughs> I told you to be careful. <laughs> How much damage do it take? I just put my palm through. <laughs> um, 18. It would be really sad if you got the first wound. <laughs> you got the one shot. That would suck. We come back next week. What the hell I mean, happened? Technically, each of you did take wounds from that. Yeah. But you're not going to make us. No. We took wounds from... Taking yeah. more than your surge oh. value in a single yeah. hit. That's fair. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, but no, this specifically does not wound you. The sheet so that it turns red. <laughs> we've done that yet. Well, when you get bloodied. Well, sh- yeah, I, I was bloodied. Sure. Yeah. So, so you would have actually taken two wounds. <coughs> you want to give them to me then? Nope. Okay. We Very just specific leave? for that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what did you see? We, or no, we saw the signet of your goddess. Yeah, the we saw the statue. So, do you have any realization? Does that? I mean, how far away from me can the skeleton go? <clears throat> I think it's as far as you want. Because in the one shot we did. He was able to travel as far as he wanted. That's true. See, if I see, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll no, it can move a theoretically infinite okay. distance from it. It just can only do it twenty feet at a time. Yep. Well, I'm gonna have it start walking forward. Okay. <laughs> towards. I don't know. Down the slope, down towards the city. Well, or do you want? Me we, to... we already, we already it's down. We're already. ten feet away. The, oh. the skeleton walked into the. When you first summoned it, you had to walk all the way I didn't realize we were down. already in the city. I thought the city was down there. We are not you in the city. You guys are ten feet away. We're ten you feet guys away. Oh, okay. said you wanted to walk down next your, to the city. Your skeleton okay. was ahead of okay. us and wandered Go down. Go towards the shrine. Towards the shrine? Yeah. Sure. All right. So it starts shambling up towards the shrine. Anything else you guys want to do while you're waiting on the skeleton to get there? I'm going to I'm gonna look at the shrine and just kind of think like, uh, Locus, you there? Any... <laughs> Any words of wisdom? <laughs> Stop. Creepy city. Barrier. You don't uh, hear anything. Oh, crap. Can I try to use my mm-hmm. shadow magic to dismantle this barrier? Sure. That'll work. Maybe. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> I rolled the 10, so 16. Okay. Um, as you reach forward and try to interact with it, with your shadow magic. You take five points of shadow damage. That's rude. What is your health at? <laughs> Do you want me to start doing some healing checks? <laughs> might not be a bad idea. <laughs> well, she's doing that. I will do some healing but checks the, on that. Uh, the shadows recoil. Oh. So, <laughs> yes. um, I just rolled for healing for you a 22. It worked better when you did it towards me than yourself. Good figures. Uh, 15 points. Okay. What are you at now? I don't know what's 23 minus 15. Eight. That is going to be 8. So I'll do I'll do another check on you. Okay. I don't have anything to attack on this. <laughs> Two. So, as it 
recoils, it recedes greatly, and it seems to get darker. Gone, foul beast! <laughs> as it gets much bigger, and then it all seems to shrink in. Uh-oh. <laughs> like the whole bubble sh- shrunk in? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to start helping with recoiling, even though I don't know shadow magic, but... So while that's doing that, I'm also still rolling to heal her. Okay. I'm still trying to wake up the the, de- the deity inside my head, like, hello, wake up. I'm wake still me. trying to put my face back there. <laughs> You're just holding it in place. It's a little droopy still, like, it hasn't... Half of your enough. face is still asleep. <laughs> yeah. Just give her the old <laughs> college try. The old college, you. Wi- the old college with sober wake up. <laughs> and you see a single being. <laughs> Is that my shambling corpse? Yes. Okay. I feel felt a lot more confident when he was still on the plane. <laughs> now that he's not here, I don't feel nearly as confident. <laughs> right. Um, I I rolled a on that healing. I rolled a fourteen. Three. That puts you at three, right? Yeah. And another fourteen. Three. Cool. I'm good. Are you I like good? that. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I like that healing check. Yeah. I didn't know that that was... Yep. I, yeah. It's always... It's not quite as efficient as magical healing, but it also doesn't cost you magic to do. Yeah. And you can clear wounds. Theoretically, you can just sit there and do it forever. Yeah. Literally, like I did. <laughs> Oh, is that the... Yeah. That's a cool-looking shrine. It's a star <laughs> with a... <laughs> not even on camera. A star. No, it's but not. It's more for you guys than anything else <laughs> at the moment. So the magic is dispelled, or the shadow is pretty much dispelled now? It's all coalesced into this being here. Oh, that's an actual being? It is an actual being. What do the buildings look like around where the... The top is not there. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I was feeling even more confident with that there. Yeah, that was very helpful to have a <laughs> For all we know, that thing is scared of capybaras. If anything, it was just moral support. <laughs> that would actually be, be hysterical Can't if there was one swim? thing. I'm sure they can. I just don't know how long they can hold their breaths or how fast they can swim. <laughs> well, <laughs> dispel, ma- or dispel water placement on a capybara. Uh, I was just going to say you could hold the cat before. <laughs> I, I'm sure I can, probably could have held her while I said, but. You don't draw your power from your cat bar. <laughs> so, you guys are standing here. Probably learn what do you do? So like, I just to the <laughs> um, I'm going to call out to it. I don't think an Arcana check will do much because we I'm pretty sure I saw all of the shadow magic dissipate into it, right? Magic? I'm afraid if we shadow magic it, you're gonna piss it off. <laughs> wait, wait, how far away are we from it? 40 feet. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Did you actually count or were you guessing? That was well a, an estimate slash guesstimate. Um, In Abyssal, why are you here? We're looking for a rock. (laughs) (laughs) Oh dear. The rock. The the being's head cocks to the side a little bit. I just want to confuse it to death. 10,000 years and this (laughs) is what I can... We haven't had a visitor to this city in 10,000 years. And the first thing you ask, you... First people you run across is they're looking for a rock. Well, luckily you're you're in luck. I do not understand. That's okay. You're not supposed to. <laughs> oh my We're all too confused. Confusion spell. Successful. <laughs> no roll for that needed. 
I mean, that was we the were best answer ever. <laughs> I was going to say something like elaborate. No. We're looking for a rock. <laughs> Very now that it's in the title, search for the rock. <laughs> and, and now that it's, uh, um, the shadows are gone, you can see this whole courtyard and the streets are littered in bones. Oh, dear. And they look to be thing. humanoid bones. Oh, dear. Brother, don't shape shift into a humanoid. <laughs> We're all humanoid. I don't think you know that what that word means, what I think you think it means. <laughs> Things already confused, so we can convince it that we're not even. Though. They are all dead. Who are Why they? Why are you here? No one looks like it has a little meat left on it. We don't understand this because we don't speak. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> we are literally just going wish. like this. Good job, Kudaira. Like, uh, you've got this. <laughs> um, just look over. We're just. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I would actually like to pull the staff of Fangar out. There you okay. go. <laughs> Translate. <laughs> Trits! Fedgar <laughs> translated. <laughs> what? Don't wanna. Don't wanna. It's a sassy city. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not gonna do it. Uh, please? <laughs> please? Persuasion <no>. check. <laughs> I'm gonna persuade check on stick. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Cap. <laughs> and yes, I will be using a bard of inspiration for this. Okay. Twelve. It's gonna be sixteen. Okay. Uh. Eh. Nah. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> How useful. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Brother, did you just call you the did. staff a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've been talking to that thing a lot. <laughs> Well, we're here to try and get the history of this island so we can write a book about it. Bluff check. Okay. Bluff check. <laughs> I, will. I can't do anything. I don't speak bad. a whistle. 16 plus 4 is tw- non nat 20. It's dangerous here. Why is it dangerous here? I am here. Well, why are you here? I was brought forth. (laughs) The people unearthed me. From a rock. (laughs) (laughs) It's Dwayne Johnson. (laughs) I do not understand this rock that you are infatuated with. Oh no. So, have you always been on this island? <clears throat> yes. Why? I have been existing here. Well, don't, I do not know my purpose. Don't you want to be free? Can I. Is there a way to roll to see if I know what this is? Sure. I mean, you can make a shadow check. <laughs> I will the night. So twenty-five. Okay. Um, <laughs> you have heard of some dark energies before, of some ancient powers, and based on the how ancient the abyssal language was, um, and this thing is talking in this old mm-hmm. abyssal language as well. Okay. So you're you're struggling a little bit with some of the translation. Um, but this thing is probably really ancient. Okay. Past recorded knowledge. Okay. I'm going to tell both of you <laughs> what's happening. <laughs> I was kind of afraid for a minute because you were making some really weird gurgling I'm noises sure over I there. Was. I wasn't sure, like, if you were choking on something. Yeah, a piece of cheese. <laughs> something. <laughs> Haley check for Heimlich? <laughs> Let me help with that. Accidentally breaks rib. <laughs> <laughs> Ends up in court being sued. <laughs> it's fine. My corset will protect me. <laughs> huh. So, 
So ultimate. he he doesn't know where any rocks are. No, he doesn't know. Where he's completely confused. Can I do a perception a check on this creature to see what he's made of? Uh, shadows. <laughs> oh, so it's just like shadowy forms. Here, there's no like physical. I mean, th- there there is a semi corporeal body. Um, okay. But it, it looks. I was like... kind of hoping maybe he had a rock attached to him. <laughs> <laughs> just click click. <laughs> Take a little off the top. <laughs> no. Do you want to be stuck here? Who said stuck? So you can leave. I exist here. I am here. This is me. This is mine. Home. Okay. Do you like being here? It is home. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to walk up to Gunara and I just ask him who he serves. Um, who do you serve? <clears throat> Like staring at this. I do not understand. Do you have a deity? Or are you just acting for yourself? I act for me. Translate. <laughs> okay, well, Ask if we can proceed to the, the temple. Um, would you allow us to proceed up to the shrine up there? This land is mine. What if I don't touch it? <laughs> This is mine. <laughs> okay, so the air is also yours. Is that yours over there? <laughs> <laughs> Look over there. <laughs> is the skeleton still moving forward slowly? Yep. It is. <laughs> how, many those can, how many of those can you conjure up at a time? Um, it just says A. You can summon A size. Okay. Large or smaller humanoid. Gotcha. So I'm assuming that means only one, right? Well, but under your per or magic spell. Um, um, it's in my feats and abilities, huh? Correct. Um, you know, control a number of summons equal to int mod. I was like, looking at the camera. So that's just int mod. That you're on mm-hmm. by yourself. <laughs> and I was trying to figure out what the fuck was next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that it was a teddy bear. <laughs> I was like... Who is that? <laughs> so I can one. summon two. Okay. I mean, you have a lot of bones. You might be able to summon two, another one, if you want, and then maybe see if you can distract them with that. It's up to you, though. I don't want you to have to just don't use magic that you don't necessarily Right do. now, because I'm worried that that will constitute attacking him. Good point. Just have it do a jig in front of it. <laughs> Spooky scout. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so... Um, why do you want to tell? <laughs> well, I mean, we've made it this far. Can we just attack it? Do you think we can take it? I don't know. <laughs> Is there any way to do a check to see if we can figure that out? I mean, you've done a couple of shadow checks on it, you've done some knowledge <clears throat> general checks on it um, you've probably garnered most of the information you're gonna garner from this <laughs> I bet you could you daylight know that spell it's it to death supremely <laughs> ancient being I'm literally still holding the daylight spell Land shine home. it at it and see what happens this, this is okay. shadow right? yeah I would bet anything that's radiant right? or would it be no it's, it's actual light well sure but anything that's like radiant or divine magic right could sure theoretically it's not divine though oh okay i have something that's divine so do you want to attack it let's attack all right you, you, do you want to leave it here i mean i'll cast daylight so as I mean, the uh, skeleton arrives up at the uh um the shrine mm-hmm. there is a a hole Right in front of it. A hole. Um, yep, going down into pure blackness. I've seen this before. On the other side of the hole, there is a glowing anvil. Okay. It can't just go around. That's cool. <laughs> sure, yeah, but th- this is what it's seeing. Okay. <laughs> glowing anvil. <laughs> like golden glowing anvil or like... 
giving off energy glowing. Oh, okay. I'm thinking like burning maw when you have to go pick it up after you chuck it um, in the Before we do mm. anything, can I put up an arcade shield? Sure. I don't have to roll for that, right? Nope. It's just... Okay, so I'm going to put three magic into that. And that gets me nine, right? How much health do you have? Yes. What do you want your skeleton to do? Go around over to the glowing anvil. Okay. It's not standing in front of the glowing anvil. Poke it. It pokes it. Does anything happen? Nothing happens. Okay, I just wanted to come back then. Okay. What? Have you never seen Sword in the Stone? Have a try to pick it up. (laughs) The anvil? Why not? It's a skeleton. I don't think it can lift that much. How much does it weigh? <laughs> Good question. I guess it could try. What happens if it tries it to? It has a 12 for strength. Yeah. It's not terrible. Okay. Try to lift the anvil. Okay. It uh, reaches down and it Do I need to roll struggles forward? and make a strength check. 18. So this 12 will be a 1 mod. So, so nice. dice roll plus one. Oh, so nineteen. Okay, perfect. And it <laughs> struggles, and it's now hovering. the The anvil is, drop into is the shaking about <laughs> two inches above the ground. <laughs> we got a big ass rock, a glowy rock. <laughs> <at that. laughs> okay, put it back down. I don't think there's a reason for the skeleton to try and drag it down the freaking hill or whatever. Okay. What are you all gonna do? You I don't know. Here? What are you no. guys doing? Um, I'm 40 feet away, right? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna point. I'm gonna point the daylight spell directly at the at the shadow being. Okay. Just to see what happens. Are you gonna smite it? Yeah, but I have to move closer. I have to move 30 feet closer. 30 feet? No, close? no, no. 10 feet closer. Okay, I was gonna say you have to be in 10 feet range. All right. You angle your daylight. You cast smite. Roll to hit. And no. make an arcana check for you. Can I use one of my lucks? Yeah. What did you roll? A one. Oh no. <laughs> so did... <laughs> <laughs> and the husky boys from Hodlin <laughs> fail on the on the locks on the starting plate. <laughs> The one time, the one place I did not need a nat, a nat one was in the same box as Arcana. Hi or low? Low. Hi or low? Who are you going to aim Hi. it at? Oh my god. Hi or low? Hi. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no. <laughs> what was your roll for smite? It was a nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so, so you badly. fling out with smite. And it goes way wide. And you kind of look back out of confusion of what just happened. As <laughs> Xander, you whip it downwards and right over to him. But as you do so, you throw yourself off balance. And you trip. And you catch one, two, oh. and three. I can't lay self <laughs> with your daylight spell. Oh, oh God. It's a hell of a trip I did. You are all now blinded. <laughs> for how long are you blinded for? Um, Ten minutes. They blind, uh, did, we, did we all look directly into it? Or uh-huh. just, okay. Uh, 1d12 plus four minutes. Last number of minutes equal to your charisma mod plus half level. Oh, no. Um... Four minutes. No, he rolls the d12, though. Oh, wait. Did I... Must, did I... They're blinded for... Oh, last number, but... They are blinded for this long minutes, but then it says last number of minutes. Yeah, so the... You can maintain the daylight spell for a number of oh, minutes. Oh, gotcha. Two. Yeah. Okay. So, one d12 plus four. four yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 14 We're really minutes. good at venturing on our own. <laughs> <laughs> Better start go better start making something up in deep speech to tell we just tripped. <laughs> Cause we're blinded. High or low? 
Low. Oh dear. Everybody roll for initiative. Oh, fuck. At disadvantage. Oh no, 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 no. Because you all blinded. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> what have we done? I'm so scared that I'm going to roll to attack and hit one of you. <laughs> uh, 13. Okay. Seem to be getting a flashback. Nine. From... You seem to be getting a flashback from two. <laughs> <laughs> you said disadvantage. It was a two and a 19. <laughs> Add your initiative score. It's a four. Oh. <laughs> Not what? any better, but still. <laughs> Uh, we both fucked up there. <laughs> I seem to be getting a flashback from a certain cathedral and my dumbass walked down the corridor and got blinded. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Same concept, just scaled up too. Alright. Esmond has always been a dumbass. <laughs> this isn't even Esmond. You're up. Yeah. Great. Um, she still got the top of the initiative work. What, 13? Yep. Wow. wow. Alright. Yeah, my second roll was 17, so. Um, we I can. guess. Haunting Visage. Okay. Disadvantage. Um, start off by having you roll a uh, d6, please. Okay. Disadvantage. Oh God, I'm so scared. Okay. Um... Fifteen to hit will. Okay. Um, does fifteen hit your <laughs> will? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not Cav. <laughs> I have a sixteen. Perfect. How much damage does a uh, hunting visage do? What uh, does hunting visage do? On hit, you may repeat this attack against the same target on subsequent turns using your minor attack. Okay. That's 2d6 plus 6. Roll damage. <laughs> Can we... Is blindness... Do we have to wait that 14 minutes, or is it technically a check now? Because we're in combat. Um, it is not a save ends. This is okay. a... Nine. Nine. Okay. This is a... It lasts for... X amount of time, sadly. That's the beauty of it, but it's also the downside if you do what we just did. Felix, you're up. So there's no way to get rid of this blindness. Correct. Even with a healing, song of healing. You could do a healing check. You could do a healing check. I would let it be treated like a wound. We can do that. Cool. I would like to start my turn off by doing a healing check to try and alleviate my blindness. Uh, do Let's I need see. to roll anything for my skeleton or did you sit I did. Okay. Yep. Yeah. See. That, so it's going to be a... Extended rest, or 14 minutes, or 25 healing check to get rid of the blinded wound. I rolled a 23. Oh. Yep, I read the right line. Okay, that's fine. I was yeah, blinded is a tier 3 wound. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, not the right thing. Um, <laughs> it's potent. So when you s- I turned around to look at his blast, right? His daylight. I mean, just just your face. I glanced. It. Okay. Yeah. So I. You're still facing in the, at least approximately the okay. right direction. Um. You know what? Let's do this. Sorry. Um. We're going to cast Meteor. Okay. <coughs> Roll a d6 for me. One. Okay. <laughs> Eight plus three is eleven versus fortitude. 
11 versus fortitude. Mm -hmm. Cool. What's the uh, burst area on that? 30. Burst area. Oh, um, sorry. Three. <laughs> you kidding me? I casted it on myself? No, no, you cast it right there. So five that, that, that was the you. one out of six. You could have gone one, two, oh. three, four, five, six. So you cast it right in front of you. Yeah, you guys, sorry. Um, so 11 versus everybody's fortitude? Miss. Miss. Is there an on miss for that one, I believe? No. Targets are dazed, save ends. Okay, perfect. <coughs> so there's this... In the blackness, a flash of something and a loud boom, especially from right in front of you. You you are almost knocked over from it. <laughs> wow. Actually, what is it? What are your reflexes? Because it's actually against reflex, not fortitude. What was it, 11? Mm hmm. Stomach. Stomach is. It was a reflex, my bad. I called the wrong one. It's all good. So, but it's. Oh, it's a burst three, so it doesn't even hit him. Correct. Cool. Yeah, it would get one, two, three. Awesome sauce. This is going swimmingly. Yeah. All right. The shadow is up. Oh, God. Uh -oh. Who is not blind? <laughs> Seeing as somebody got all the higher lows wrong. That is a uh, 20 against your reflex. Yep. Um, that is 13 points of shadow damage. Ouch. Why are you here? Why do you insist? Because we're looking for a rock. I do not understand <laughs> this rock. Xander, you're up. <laughs> rock? Not even rock, Xander, just rock. <laughs> Alright, Eldritch Bolt. Uh, it, in oh his direction. <laughs> six. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I love how you all are blind and missing and you're still attacking. Oh, but he hasn't attacked yet. He doesn't realize Three. that it's missed. Three? Okay. Rolled hit. Eld Eldritch blasting this. Eldritch bolt, yeah. Bolt, yeah. Eight, uh, eight, ver it's the eight, and then... What is that? Oh, wait, it's in... Oh, no bonus, so eight versus AC. It definitely has a... What is, what is it? When I, when I typed in Eldritch bolt, it didn't give me a... What is your primary skill? Yep. So your primary skill would be... For your class is what? Oh, it's arcane. No. No. So it's either intelligence, charisma, strength, intellect. Um, so go oh. to your main stats and stats and skills page, and there will be a um, under class information spell ability. You're on the worksheet page. You could, you want to go to your first page? No. Yeah, the main stats and skills. right up here. So your main ability spell ability oh, charisma. is charisma. Yeah, so, so type in charisma yeah. for primary. That, is that just the abbreviation CHA? You, you have, have to type, type in charisma because okay. what it'll do is it'll auto populate your skill level. So you actually have it. So just. Yep. There we so go. Now, okay. Oops, you rolled an 8 plus 4. That's yep. 12 against AC. 12 versus AC. Yep. 12 versus AC? 17. All right. Roll damage. Cool. No, wait, no. Round 4. D4 plus 4. Wait, no. D4 is the triangle. Yes. The little triangle. Oh, the little triangle. That's pyramid. Thank you. That one. Yeah, the pyramid. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight uh, arcane damage. Okay. I'm really concerned. Skelly boy is up. <laughs> He's gonna come. He's standing right next to the anvil. Can he knock on it? <laughs> dun dun dun. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I want to start coming back down the hill, but not into the hole. 
Okay. So, so takes one step. I'm not blind. I can see that hole <laughs> <laughs> around it. Uh, next up, Gridira. Should I try and convince him that we'll leave? If he heals our blindness, you should try and guess. <laughs> if he heals our blindness, <laughs> we will leave him alone. Okay. Basically. Look, we we don't want any more trouble. We're just going to try and leave. We're just a little disoriented right now, so if you could help us leave, we'll get out of your tendrils. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he's got hair. Get out of your tendrils. <laughs> a persuasion check? Is yeah. Is that what would work best? Yeah. I mean, you could have a... You could make an argument for any charisma. <laughs> I don't think less would, likely to be effective against an ancient I mean, shadow being. You start rolling up your leg instead of unbuttoning <laughs> your shirt. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shoot! I'm wearing my long stockings. <laughs> Let uh, me put those down. Okay. You seem a little pale. I guess persuasion. That wasn't great. Ten. Ten. This is at the point the DM is uh, contemplating whether to be nice or not. <laughs> Are you... Actually, I'll do this. Um, that's going to be a uh, 22 versus your um, insight defense. Okay. It does hit, yeah. Are, are you that. lying? No. Okay. I don't want to fight this thing. There's no reason to fight this thing. <laughs> You are no longer blind. Yeah. You are still blind. <laughs> you are not any longer blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Timber's like, holy shit. <laughs> Felix is just the uh, what? <laughs> I'm gonna smite everything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, you're still blind. <laughs> That was a 24. <laughs> you gotta start doing smite like the finger gun just. <laughs> smite. It's, a still... it's really not meant to be. Something about you it's, and it's, ongoing effects. It's, it's, just... it's a skill check. It's a, a save ends check. <laughs> I'm adding a plus 12 to these. I rolled 10, 12, 11, 9. <laughs> I want a 14 and a natural 20. <laughs> it is my character alone. <laughs> no, it's just your pure existence. I put Cap to the side, created a new character, hoping I wasn't going to have issues with save ends checks. And the guy who we're trying to leave can't even freaking <laughs> unblind me. <laughs> you, stared, you stared down the whole sun. <laughs> that quick little glance. I mean, <laughs> no, I think half my face being melted at the same time really screwed my vision up. Oh, that's what happened. You just finished melting your face, so yeah, like, your it's... forehead is covering Ooh. your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I'm just a melting wax. <laughs> so, pure nightmare fuel over there. Don't look at Gwenaira. She might have nightmares from the wax. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Why are you running away and screaming it? Yeah. I don't know what I did wrong. <sighs> um... <laughs> Then go, be gone from my home. I'm gonna start heading back. <laughs> I'm blind. Uh, I'll drag uh, you with me. You all you... feel as tendrils of shadow grab hold of you and thrust you back through the water. <laughs> all the way back. Oh, like all, all the way, way back. back. Can hey, I? Guys. Can I try and grab a rock as we go back? Hey guys. The story yes, is make a dexterity check. The it's story is back. is that we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody needs to know the truth. Absolutely, <laughs> fucked it up, and you got fucked up. Eleven. Okay, you are able to grab a rock on your way back. <laughs> oh, good. At least I got a rock. Nice. <laughs> Literally we just said our goal. <laughs> nope. Out uh, she go. <laughs> Why? Two. Cool. You hold it out towards Xander. What were you doing? Oh. I was trying to kill high five to someone. Huh? <laughs> yeah. How did I get the short end of this fucking stick? I was the one who told you to ask him to unblock. All right, so how many minutes has it been? Two. Natural one. What the fuck? <laughs> well, is the door closed 
Are we back in the little enclosed cave? Yes. Cool. I'm not leaving until I can get my sight back. That's acceptable. <laughs> and Do you want to try and blow up and blow no. up the hole in the wall? No, we... but I was tempted to reactivate daylight and just hold it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it's his eyes are <laughs> on me. Does this also see us pop out of the water? No, I thought he went outside the door. He did go outside. Oh, he wasn't. Yeah, he's outside the and then the door's closed behind him, I believe, right? Oh. I'll, I'll just go open. I'll go hold the, do the arcane thing like he did. And try are are you it. waiting for his sight to return first, or are you just? I just want to get the door open. I'm. He you guys can... are a bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> open that fucking door. And... Make an arcana check. No bad. I hope you roll really low, <laughs> and you do an arcana check on your forehead. Ten. God. <laughs> and the doors. Did you even open. add in your modifier? That I rolled a two plus my eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> And the doors swing open. Do you want to go outside or do you want to sit inside? Come on, brother. No. I'm <laughs> sitting down. Outside. I am refusing. I would like to shapeshift into a giant that weighs so much that he cannot pull me out. You can't. Damn it. <laughs> no, I'm going to be stubborn. If he wants to pull me out, I'm. he's going to have to drag me. Ah, uh, fine. I'll I'm not going to help. I'll see you outside in like 20 you minutes. hang out for another... Ten minutes. I mean, you go outside and sit with my capybara and examine your the returns. water or the rock that I got from the water. It's kind of pretty. What does it look like? It's uh, a greenish. Um, sparkles just a little bit. Mm. It, it's not like a gem green, but it's a little tiny piece of malachite or something in there to make. Look, it I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> we achieved our goal. That's all that matters. You come, will love it. So you guys, uh, there was nothing there. Your travel. Back to the beach. <laughs> Zazzle doesn't care what happened. Nope. <laughs> you guys tell him? No. <laughs> we fucked some shit up. <laughs> well, shadow. they all left me to die. They didn't leave you to die. Yeah. Just uh, blinded you by accident. Let's, let's look at this. Um, you walked out of the door before I did, about ten minutes before I did, so... <laughs> we clearly saw how to open and shut the door. We know how to open it. Clearly. Yeah, because you left me there to die. I did not leave you there to die. Plan was we tell them we fuck shit up. Why are you not agreeing and following the plan? We fuck shit up. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I said. No, it was not. <laughs> so you guys return back to the beach with a rock. Yeah. <laughs> and that Mission accomplished. Where we'll end for tonight. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching our Pillars of Cypatia video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to check out our other campaign going on right now, the Library of Taba. We're a pretty great group over there, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in both places. Thanks for watching again. Tune in next time.